I anticipated Biden would fall, and he's falling. However, what I'm concerned about is the pace that he's falling. He's not falling fast enough, um, and I'm getting worried. Now, I think he's going to make it to Iowa. He's going to stick around. Can he still win, in your opinion? Because at first, I pretty much... I said the odds of him winning, you know, ir irrespective, I was going to say irregardless, that's not a word, uh, irrespective of polling data, um, you know, it was relatively low. Now, even though he's going down and he's making like 152 gaffes per week, another number I just cited, but I like that number. Let's, we'll stick with that. Um, do you think he can win? Because I, I don't know. I feel like he's probably not going to win, but at the same time, you know, at the back of my mind, it's a possibility that I don't necessarily think we should rule out. I'm with you. I I would not be shocked. I'll put it that way. I do can. It terrifies me, frankly. There are three people who just well, there's a bunch that terrify me. But um, Joe Biden just I don't want to go to war with seven more countries. Right. And he's like, I don't feel like you should be able to have access to like the war button, you know, if you can't even remember where you were or remember the name Barack Obama, that kind of scares <laughs> Rap me. Rap Obama. <laughs> <laughs> my, my boss. Um, <laughs> uh, like that's, and I don't want to be ableist, you know, and, and in a way you kind of do sound that way when you talk about him, you know, sure. saying these things, but it's, it's about whether or not he's competent and he's not, it, no. it turned from, Ew, keep your hands off of people. You're a warmonger to, oh my God, he literally thinks things happen that never did. And he's forgetting people's names that he's dropped 20 million times. Like, it's scary. And anyone who, like, you know, is apologetic for that is kind of, I don't know, maybe shouldn't be able to vote. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. kind of daunting it's horrifying and i'll say this this is the point that i made like it's to the point now where just on a human level like i feel bad for biden like you know forget the I fact that he's a former vice president and he's powerful he has money whatever from a human standpoint it is difficult to see someone mentally deteriorate like it's sad to watch you know because i mean i i don't necessarily hate joe biden i think he has absolutely egregious policy positions but just you know from the standpoint of him being a human it's it's tough to watch i don't i don't like to see that like my dad has dementia he has early onset dementia so to see that you know politically it's like you know, I, I know firsthand that this is someone who and I'm not diagnosing Biden before people call me a conspiracy right, theorist. Right. I'm just saying mental deterioration. You know, it, it's we all see it. We all see it. You know what I mean? Um, so I, I won't speculate and say that he has X, Y and Z conditions. I'm just saying it's tough to see him lose his ability to articulate himself. This isn't me saying Biden is stupid. It's me saying that, you know, this is a medical issue, you know, and I, I think that you brought up a good point about not being able is because I, I think that, you know, progressives have actually done a really commendable job at handling this in a way that isn't, you know, we're not just trying to shit on Biden for purposes of political expediency. We can we don't have to criticize him for that. His policy positions are easy. You know, they're a big enough target. But to see this, First of all, it's sad. Second of all, can you imagine the field day that Republicans will have with this? And I'm not one to say, oh, well, imagine what the Republicans will do, because technically they can make that same argument about Bernie. They can say, oh, well, they're going to call him a socialist and a communist. But I mean, Trump is already like saying, is this man fit to be president? And if Donald Trump can persuasively make that argument when we can see, you know, his brain melting out of his ears, then there's there's going to be an issue in the general. And it's just... I see, and I've said I think this. Biden would lose, absolutely would lose to Trump. I, I, I agree. I would literally bet like every penny I own, which granted is not much of anything. But if I had <laughs> like a million dollars, I would bet it that Biden would lose. So when you hear people like, oh, you know, we got to get rid of Trump. We got to get rid of Trump. Then why are you propping up Biden? Because you can pretty much guarantee Trump, even Biden's own wife made a video. Oh yeah. Saying, Joe might not be the best on healthcare, but he can beat Trump. First of all, didn't you say Hillary could beat Trump? Don't. Just don't. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know 
we the people know we see who is going to get out there and vote and he doesn't excite people he is not bringing people to the polls he is a male hillary he does not excite people he it's may be worse happen. than her, actually. Like, I think he's probably politically to the left of Hillary slightly, but like he's there's no like there's no reason to be excited. Even with Hillary, there was that, you know, aspect of, well, this could be the first woman president that in and of itself alone, you know, in a vacuum is good. That's that's exciting, I guess. You know, it's it's nice to see history. There's nothing there for Joe Biden. And I love that you brought up his wife. If my wife said something like that about me, I would drop out. That is such a horrible endorsement where you essentially admit, I'm a doctor. You may not like his healthcare policy. It's kind of shitty. Um, but, you know, if you want to be Trump, then you have to vote for him. Of course, the, that's what that's just what you do. You vote for the person who's polling high enough. But I'm with you there in terms of him losing. I would say that he probably has the worst shot at Donald Trump, although it, I think that it's really too early to predict. This is my read on it. And correct me if you think I'm wrong here. I think his chances are 50-50. Um, and the reason why I say that is because Joe Biden, and I was thinking about this because currently his strategy, as we all know, is to hide, right? Don't get in front of the cameras too much because that drives down your favorability. In the general election, the way that he could pull this off is he can hide and Barack Obama can come out and this will be Obama, you know, 3.0, for example. So that's the only way I can see it. But even in that scenario, if Barack Obama is like on the campaign trail 100% of the time, it's still not going to be a foregone conclusion. This will be a difficult race. And even if Bernie is the nominee, I'm not going to say he's guaranteed to win. You know, it's still going to be our best chance. But what we need is, you know, for these people who are basing their entire vote on that electability argument to wake up and realize that we are on the Joe Biden Titanic that is sailing straight into an iceberg and we're going to get four more years of Donald Trump and worse 30 years of, you know, a strong, solid conservative majority on the Supreme Court, which absolutely, you know, gives me nightmares that we're looking at a reversal of LGBTQ rights, um, deregulation um, to, you know, a hyper late stage capitalist level, um, the repeal of Roe v. Wade. It's it's terrifying. This isn't a time to roll the dice like we are on the cusp of extinction, quite literally. You know, we're we're facing an apocalypse. Joe needs to drop out. <laughs> and he's already lost several times. Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> like, why are you letting him run again for crying out loud? <laughs> At what point does his family not say, listen, we gave this That's a good run? That's my question. Right? Because it's like, you are, I don't know how old he is. He's like 70 or 80 and whatnot. And like, so Bernie's 10 months different than Bernie. Yeah. So when people call Bernie old, I'm like, at least he still has his faculties. Like, and Bernie has more energy than me. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. like, <laughs> if if Bernie were in that position, it would be more difficult to make the case for for him. But with Joe Biden, it's like, I just feel like it's it's almost it's cruel to like make him do this. And I'm sure that this is his doing. It's not like his family is like pushing him in front of a camera and saying, "Run, Joe." But you know, at some point, you have to intervene and say, "Look." It's not it's not going to happen. Let's just enjoy life. We're rich. Let's buy another mansion. Let's sail on our yacht. You know, let's um, enjoy our life and spend time with our grandchildren. I mean, I just I don't I don't get it. Um, and I really, you know, I don't understand the people who are Democratic Party loyalists who are pushing him, because if you truly hate Donald Trump, this is just idiotic to push Joe Biden at this point. Mike is a total loser, so don't hit the subscribe button, okay? And whatever you do, folks, do not hit the notification bell either. Mike treats me so unfairly.